welcome to Pharma, MES and Process Mines and Tracts 2016. I'm here with Titus Kraus from Systec and Services. Welcome. Thank you. So you are Sales and Marketing Manager at Systec and Services. Could you tell us a bit about your work and your career? Thank you. Um, yeah, my name is Titus Kraus and I'm the Director for Sales and Marketing with uh, Systec and Services. I'm in the MES and pharma business since 25 years or so um, and in several different positions. Um, I started at a smaller but well-known company, Propact Data at that time. Mm -hmm. It was um, one of the market leaders in MES. Um, and later on, this company was acquired by Rockwell Automation. There I had several international positions. Then I had uh, four years with Siemens in a very interesting position for in a competence center there for pharma. And since 2010, I'm uh, with Systecon Services. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is your work mainly focusing on right now? Uh, you know, it, it, these are challenging times right now because um, due to the legislation, um, there is a, certainly a high focus on, on serialization at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, our company is focusing on both MES on the one side, but also on serialization. And we see that uh, a lot of companies are investing currently in serialization compared to MES because they need to do these uh, mm -hmm. or to need to fulfill these uh, regulations and certainly they focus there. And this is also a focus of our daily business to be let's say, uh, with our clients in that area for yes. civilization. Where else do you see, on one hand, because it's not mandatory, um, the focus lies on serialization, but where else are the obstacles for introducing and implementing MES in your clients' companies? Uh, you know, it would be good also from a, from a supplier side, certainly, um, if there would be a, a more a push from the, from the regulations that there should be a must um, also for paperless production, let's say. Um, a lot of companies follow that idea, however, uh, still many companies um, don't see the necessity mm -hmm. um, and also it's a high investment on the one side and uh, certainly for especially for small and mid-sized companies they need to have yes. the money to, to, to spend that and what we see currently in, in serialization just to compare it here that smaller companies cannot afford um, mm -hmm. to invest into that area. Yeah. And where do other challenges lie in serialization and MES and how does Systec and services help these companies to face you, those challenges? You know, um, the biggest problem what we see right now, in, I would say it's two areas. One is uh, the CMOs in the serialization area. I'm probably not the only one who, who's saying that uh, because um, I feel that they know that they have to do something, but they believe it's still enough time. Um, but if everybody decides in 2017 or 2018, there is no, and that is the second issue, there are no resources on the market anymore to implement. And this is currently also a problem in the, in the industry because the industry is quite small and the, the number of resources is limited. Mm -hmm. So what you see currently, there's a movement from one company to the other, um, that person pops up here and there, but so-called fresh people are not really coming into the industry and that is quite quite difficult for, for the industry at the moment. And what I see is for, for the smaller and mid-sized companies is they will fail because they didn't start yet to, to start the um, uh, implementation of serialization. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if you look into the future, how do you think this will develop and what technologies do you think will become more important? When it comes to MES, I believe um, we will get into an area where we just, I just had a discussion about Google Glass, uh, where it will be much more interactive in the weighing booth or in the, at the machines, that robots will, will support the people there in their daily work. Uh, that means that automation and, and, and um, automated things will guide and, and support uh, the, the MES solutions. That is the trend I see there. In serialization, I see certainly trends in other industries, like for example, food industry starting right now is picking the same idea, mm -hmm. and it will, it will develop into other industries, I, I believe. Yes. Well, I hope you have other interesting conversations on uh, future developments yeah. and current challenges here. I think we are at the fourth or fifth time already here. We, we, we Certainly, we started only with the MES part yes. at the beginning, but since last year, um, we are also part of the tracks. And um, 
interestingly, the year before, we uh, had a round table where we had exactly this topic. What, what, what does it mean to integrate MES mm -hmm. with, with a track and trace uh, two years ago? And that was quite interesting that uh, WeConnect came last year and with the idea yes. to combine both events. And I think this is a very, it's very unique mm -hmm. and it's a very good idea to combine both um, okay. things together. Great. What, what did you make come back um, all these years? Uh, you know, <laughs> to, to do a little bit of promotion for WeConnect, um, I believe we, uh, WeConnect is one of the best organizers of events. Both the delegates but also the exhibitors are very much in the focus of, of the organizer. And I think that is key, that you feel comfortable before but also at the conference. Um, and that, that is uh, really unique uh, compared to other organizers. Okay, we're really happy to have you here in our community and we hope, of course, that we can welcome you the next years yeah, here, thank too. You. Thank you very much for the interview. Thanks a lot.